Hi, Lance97 here. I'm recording a tutorial on how to create a custom skybox for the graphics plugin in Honey Select 2 Studio by the modding tool, the modding tool uh, in the Unity. So uh, basically this is all the this is this folder is out in the unity you can see that this is this folder is all the things that uh, we need the first is a folder of a bunch of images uh, downloaded uh, from the unity asset store uh, this this can be uh, any images uh, you you like to you like to make it a skybox for honey select to studio and uh, there are two, only two folders we need to create. One is prefabs and one is sums. Just like the, uh, just like the user guide, uh, said with uh, in the mo modding tool, uh, who's modding tool, and uh, create a uh, ice ice XML, and there's only three things we only three things we need to do. So the sum I create two thumbs and uh, prefabs uh, create two materials just like this create two materials yeah materials and make it as material shader like uh, a skybox and a cure map when you do this cure map this uh, sphere icon can turn into a square icon and uh, what's what is inverse the feeling, inverse the human feeling is this thing. So that uh, the yeah, the the sphere in the Unity editor, the sphere in the Unity, this two sphere is actually two images, two PNG images, just these two. You can see that they're exactly the same, 11.8 MB. These two spheres are these two things, and these two square icons, they are actually materials. Uh, you can see that when I select it, it's skybox dot uh, MIT is a is a material. MIT means material. And this one is skybox dash BG dot MIT is a material too. So why the reason why it is square is because this one is uh, because it's because uh, this one shader is. It's a skybox cube map shader. Everything that is a cube, just a, like this new material I, I just created in front of face. This one, uh, I turn. We I just turned this to a cube map, a skybox cube map. Uh, so it becomes uh, from a sphere to a square icon. And uh, when you link these two things, when you link these things, you have to select the square thing first. So it's this material and uh, drag this image this one is a png image drag this png image into this uh, this uh, map place and so this one is linked to this and this one is linked to this this so uh, you have to create a two group of uh, materials one is skybox and this one must name the skybox <coughs> the image must name the skybox and one, another one material is skybox dash bg and the uh, this image duplicate this one uh, exactly it's the same file duplicate it and then they rename it skybox dash bg and uh, this one import so the import uh, import uh, thing has to be uh, set up In this skybox bg uh, you better set it uh, click the if you click the default uh, this one gonna the max it says eight, it have eight K uh, resolution. But when you click apply, it gonna re, re reverse back to four K. I don't know why this is a very old version of Unity. Uh, but we can only use this uh, using the modding tool, right? Uh, using modding tool, you can only stay in the uh, Unity two thousand and eight, uh, and. So don't don't click this default button. This default button don't useful. It can the when you click apply this 8K can the reverse back to 4K, uh, maybe some bug. Uh, click this button. 
this little download button like a download and uh, click the toggle this override and uh, click this 8k and uh, the format compress format you pick uh, uh, DXT1 or this uh, BC7 they both can do the work a few other uh, compressions uh, mm, this BC6 I see the I see a lot of a lot almost I, I don't have any knowledge of this uh, uh, compression but I see uh, about uh, all the skybox for the all the cube box for the Honey Select 2 Studio is uh, BC6 compression. But this BC6 gonna make the Unity scene instantly very bright. I don't know why. And uh, uh, yeah, and this BC7 is uh, gonna take about one minute to compress this file and the crouched file. Crouched. Uh, format is uh, uh, it gonna impressively lower down the, the file size on your hard drive uh, that's all I know about this compression format so I just use this DXT one and uh, it's useful for me I don't I don't maybe it's some wrong I, I, I don't know I, I don't have time for figuring out this kind of uh, questions so just make the DXT one. It can, uh, five just a five seconds. It gonna make uh, it can uh, compress this file into uh, an import and successfully import into your Unity. So this uh, Skybox dash BG has to be the largest uh, resolution. This one is for the, the 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 view you see in the in your Honey Select Two Studio game. Yeah. Uh, this one so this one resolution is responsible for the pixels you see it has to be the largest uh, resolution and uh, this skybox uh, without a dash bg this just a skybox uh, it has to be very small just uh, make it 512 and uh, and uh, this is for the reflection so it has to be small it has to be small it don't has to be like this 8k so when you click these four things they they must um, rename be re, uh, the but the, the four the four guys must be uh, named exactly at this at this uh, solution and then when you click then let me delete this put them into a folder named the prefabs just like uh, other item MODs you have created, put them into this folder prefab and uh, create another folder named sums and uh, just uh, just drag anything into here just uh, don't make it this folder empty and we will don't make this folder empty otherwise it's this folder gonna be deleted and uh, whatever drag some images into this sum folder and then uh, create this XML and set it up so set it up basically uh, uh, the previously if you are making a IMO, uh, 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 item IMOD the different thing is uh, here is here like this line bundles uh, it gonna says uh, auto pass prefabs from prefabs filter equals uh, this kind of marks question dash dot dot and this dot after this dot this part was originally prefabs which means that it gonna make all the dot prefab files in this prefab folder into these unity bundles right because uh, when you make uh, item MODs you 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 drag the prefabs from the unity scene uh, into this folder into this folder you prefab so uh, but uh, right now there is no prefabs all of them are there are two PNGs and there are two 
MAT two materials only. So uh, change this to so change the a uh, filter change the filter from dot prefab to dot MAT just like uh, what I'm doing here. Make the dot MAT. So what this does is going to it gonna put all the dot MAT files into this uh, uh, into this uh, uh, Unity asset bundle, which is uh, exactly what we want. So it's gonna put these two files, these two dot MAT files, in from the this prefabs folder, and build them two into a into a Unity asset bundle, which is what we want. Uh, and the, this, all these things, just uh, it doesn't matter. Just use uh, use your template that can that can work. And uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, make them name, make their name Skybox and uh, Skybox, and give it the sum, give the sum names. It doesn't need more. It doesn't important the sum uh, names. I'll, we don't use this in the final. Scene, just uh, give it a name in case that you won't uh, make the bundle. Just uh, and. Uh, Give it a give it a folder like uh, let me see what the folder name the folder is the C U B E yeah D dash C U B E and uh, make it uh, make it and build it so what this uh, when you click uh, you have to click this uh, uh, XML file and uh, give it a Pass and click this right green. Click this green button. Build MOD, and uh, when it finishes, when it finishes, uh, let me see. There gonna be a this file, right? Uh, this is gonna be a MOD, just like an item MOD you have ever you have ever made with a, a modding tool. So this what this thing contains is it contains. It contains uh, the the exact the, the exactly file we need, but we have to unpack it. So these things, these things, the manifest we don't need. We only need the only thing we need is this uh, data prefab uh, zero 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 dot unit. And this is the only thing we need. We just cut cut it here and uh, paste it here. This is the only thing we need, and uh, everything we don't need. These things we don't need it anymore. We just delete it, or we just save it. This is the only thing we need, and we 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 have to uh. Let me rename it. Rename this thing to so the to epic two, epic two, and this uh, format. Let's go cube. It has to be cube. No, yeah. Hit click. Now this thing is the the final product we we have, and. We give it. Uh, uh, we find uh, uh, find uh, uh, randomly create a, 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 a image. This 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 sum gonna be randomly create a, a, a one hundred twenty eight and one hundred twenty eight uh, icon image. This icon image gonna be in the in your Honey Select Two Studio. The graphics plugin. In that plugin, you're gonna click this icon to to cast out this uh, skybox. So we uh, copy this, Control C, copy this, uh, Control this, uh, copy this uh, thumb, and uh, paste it into. Let me see, paste it into this. Uh, yeah, that's the file we could created. It's I pick two, and this this uh, yeah this 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 the sum has to be the exactly same I pick two dot png, and we got I pick two dot png and uh, sorry, the white can't change the
What the fuck? Yeah, I pick two. I pick two PNG and I pick two Del Cube and then they are the final things we need. Cut uh Control C copy them into the uh into the uh Honey Select Two Studio the the Cube Mac box which is here. See that this is uh the Honey Select Two folder. This is Snap Studio, and uh, in here in the root folder is a uh, folder Cube Maps and. Uh, all the other Q maps, and we just paste it here. See that this epic two dot cube and this epic two dot png here is a green two. It's just we just created here. So let me in in let me uh, uh, close the uh, uh, studio and restart it. Wait a second. So all this, all this uh, skybox cubes are basically a. Uh, 100 to 28 and 128 PNG icon plus one exactly the same name and dot cube file. There's two files that makes this uh, uh, skybox in the Honey Select 2 Studio graphic plugin. Uh, so what we did just now is create exactly the same thing, these two files, and uh, hopefully this can work. Now we um, let's check this. This two is here. That this one is uh, I previously made. Let's let's click this two. See that? This is already in. But he, let me let me drag 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 out the camera so you can see that. Now this is this is a custom eight uh, K eight K uh, skybox. Now you can. Uh, drag anything and drag uh, uh, drag anything maybe drag a character uh, drag any character in here and uh, change the colors I and mean, tweak it and Something like this. Hmm. Oh, okay, thank you.